the number of people that's gonna get dizzy just by looking at this set is gonna be insane. Hello, 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 we're looking at the loop coaster. Yeah, we did a video about this already when we had more information about the set, but now we have the official pictures, release date, all that jazz. 400 bucks, July 5th release. Uh, some statements did say July 1st, but LEGO date is July 5th actually. Set number 10303 with 3756 pieces, so a little less than the first roller coaster. The epicness from 2018 was 4,124 pieces at 380 price tag, so it's a $20 more expensive and a little less pieces for the new one. Now, this is not the tallest set of all, it stands at 92 centimeters. The Saturn V, for example, was a meter high, exactly perfect. So it's, I was about to call it the tallest set in the, in the LEGO lineup, but it's actually not. It's pretty close though. And by the way, this is an icon set, so LEGO is already using the tag or brand or label icons to portray big black box models. Gotta say, love the color combo of the box of black, yellow and blue. Also like that little bit of a light behind the coaster to just emphasize the epicness of the shape of the build. The, the shape is actually very interesting. Uh, with uh, It's a shorter track, by the way, than the previous one, so it's gonna go really, qu really quick. Uh, close your eyes, blink and you're gonna miss it, basically. Uh, but it's, it feels also more compact, more kind of, uh, I guess, solid. As a set overall, it doesn't seem as finicky as all those towers and uh, different poles that the first one was producing, was introducing. Yeah, just the overall feel, like as I try to compare these two sets, uh, you know, this had more of a kind of a skeleton look to it. There was a lot of empty space under it, so you could you could see that it could have been filled, but this was already ginormous. Uh, so LEGO was trying to keep it a little bit, you know, within the specs of price and, and piece count. So in the new one, I think that is really better represented with more space just used and less of a footprint a little bit, so you can place it in, you, you basically need less space to keep it on display. 11 minifigures included, ride operator, balloon seller, pretzel seller, hot dog seller, grandma, young boy, five raiders, and six of the minifigures have reversible heads, so different face expressions. I feel the lineup is very solid. I really like the hair molds, and this guy looks like some cool dude from the 70s. Really cool hair mold, look at that little extra side hair. Some cool prints as well, uh, gotta, gotta love that, gotta love the colorful birthday boy shirt, very expressive minifigures, I think that's gonna be my favorite. He looks like he could fly a jet in Tomcat or something. Uh, yeah, more minifigures here, good, overall great selection, oh there's like a, I think that's a Lego store kind of employee shirt, is that a Lego store employee print? I swear it is, I don't know, you guys tell me, I see the, the name tag, that's kind of interesting. I like this print as well. That minifigure reminds me of Hidden Side for some reason, just with the expressive hair mold, really cool hair, and a little bit of a cool uh, jeans jacket of sorts. So the hot dog vendor is pretty simple. Love the, uh, they're very expressive. So glad to see creator adding more uh, cool minifigures. And a squirrel is here as well. So there is that, pretty cool little mold as an addition. All right, now to analyze the set real quick. First of all, this ginormous tower. I mean, that's gonna be a fun build, stacking tons of that. I like the detailing with the uh, triangular pieces in two shades of blue. I think there's also a counterweight we're gonna see in other angle of the set that basically makes this whole thing work. It's gonna be motorized, just like the first one, so we're gonna be able to remove that, that lever and probably plug in a motor that's gonna make it all work automatically, just like the first one. Are the two loop elements different, or like different arc? Because this one is more like a teardrop shape, this one is more oval. I, does that mean that that element and that element are different uh, angle, different curve uh, than this? Uh, I think so, or they're not bent really. No, they, you can see they're like more vertically aligned and this one is more like horizontally aligned. Few new elements for the coaster track to create those loops. I really want to see where it's going to lead in the future or what mocks can be created with that. Really enjoyed. Also, the structure is pretty cool holding those loops to the side. Looks like a, you know, like a real life roller coaster or how you see those structures in amusement parks. That's kind of exactly how it would look like, if you ask me. I'm digging this angle, this whole section. You can see that's what I was saying in the beginning, that there is just more space used, that palm tree fits there, kind of covers some of the mechanisms. You know, there is not much exposed technique. There is some here behind the giant tower, but I think it's less exposed technique than the first roller coaster. Really like the boarding area here, very amusement park parky are those extra coaster uh, track elements to create that that roof 
that's kind of nice really like that one there's uh, some foliage in here to create a little bit of a complete look again the cool little sticker entrance height check what can you can and you what can you you cannot bring onto the coaster uh and yeah there's like a pathway to, to the boarding area yeah like overall aesthetics of this set there is more oh there's a stuck balloon actually here so that's not cool sometimes people lose stuff on the coasters and they can be a hazard so that's kind of like a weird thing to see here uh and also there's i think a camera that takes your shots and there are some shots stickers on the boarding area where you can see yourself about to puke <laughs> also i wonder if there's gonna be a way to display the coaster that way so you can kind of stick the cart mid loop uh, for display purposes if you're not running the coaster that would be kind of cool now what i also noticed is that that section here the way the drop works those are dual coaster uh, arcs or curves it's on side built on the side so the coaster basically runs on the side of the bricks to get that steep uh, 90 degree drop that's sick like you go from up here and then uh, the truck switches to the side to make it work that is such a brilliant way to do it and also you can see some extra elements reinforcing the tower from the back yeah, there is that shot. That camera is really cool to like, capture you uh, mid mid flight, mid loop, uh, in the middle section. That's kind of cool. There's a, don't don't allow squirrels to like sit on the coaster in the middle of a run. That's kind of a hazard, a very high one. Closer look at the section where the mechanisms are. Again, less technique visible. I really like that they use more bricks from the normal system. You can see also some technique tracks to to make that work. That shot explains how the tower works. You can also you can see those. A guidance uh, track elements to guide the counterweight of the tower. Also, really cool look at that logo, very well made brick built logo. But yeah, the counterweight will gonna make the easier operation for the whole lift. Better look at the boarding area. As you can see, you can fit quite a few minifigures here. Also, the pictures are great. <laughs> the guy that's also in the set is on picture two. There is a square <laughs> on picture three. Okay, so there is a joke. Again, very uh, weird stuff to happen on a coaster. Don't 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 let animals to like climb your coaster. Anyway, there's uh, stuff here, and the 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 kind of sticker is showing you. You can use the app uh, to download your pictures, just like most amusement modern amusement parks do. And also like details like this, you know, the positioning minifigure piece to create to uh, use for the, for the screen of the coaster attendant. Just like I think Lego stepped up their game. For detailing a set like this i really like it it takes less footprint to display it you know the first one was a very bulky very large footprint it required like four of those cubical elements in a lego store to display properly it was a, i worked back then when that thing came out in a lego store and to display it we had to like dedicate a giant area to make it work and so the people can see the coaster from all sides this can live and, and in this example on like a piece of furniture next to your wall uh, kind of reminds me of how they did the Pyramid of Giza that you can place against the wall. It's gonna still look good. The coaster, because it's more uh, wide, like long and, and less, wi less wide, more long, more, more tall, it's gonna be able to live in most, more places in your house than the first coaster. So that's a good thing. And if you ask me, I can totally see myself placing the Saturn V rocket right next to it. Just because it's itsy bitsy taller. It would work just fine next to the coaster tower. Well, 400 bucks for a very good set. <laughs> another one, another one. Now, I missed out on the first one. I, I did have experience with it back in Brick Vault. It was a, such a fun set to play with and review and all that. I never had my own copy. So this one is, yeah, it's like next to the castle and next to the Optimus Prime and next to the uh, lots of other things, the Ferrari. <laughs> Probably a must have, but space wise, very difficult to find space for it. I like that it's more vertical again, that it's, it's more of a footprint. Uh, verticality is good uh, for most lego lego people like because you can always find some some not so wide space to display it anyway what do you guys think comment section is open below wow wow we wa. now let's wait for that castle and see what happens because lego has been killing it with the prices with the epic sets hard to keep up very hard to keep up comment section is open below as always thank you so much for watching check out those videos here as i talk about other lego things and review stuff perhaps maybe you're gonna like it I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching again. It was Mike. Uh, talk to you again. Bye.